Hello, hello everyone. Um, welcome to a, a different video, one where I, I speak a bit. And yeah, so today I'm going to be drawing. I think that's going to be the, the main gist of today's video. So what happens is that uh, I have this camera right here. Uh, you probably can see my hand. Hopefully you can see my hand. Let me check if you can see my hand. Okay, you can check. So essentially, we're going to be drawing today. And the thing is that I thought, okay, it's been a while and people have been asking for for me to draw horizontally. Sorry, for me to record horizontally. So I thought, okay, maybe let's let, let's keep what the people want. And I think I'm going to draw, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to draw maybe a, uh, I should have planned this better. So I, I think I'm gonna draw maybe the bus, uh, the bus that I take sometimes to go to the city center. So uh, I, I live near Lausanne. So people seem to like those fish eye perspectives that I make. So let's let's try and make those. And yeah, and the video will also be posted in other social media as a time lapse. So maybe let's start with a person just for us to orient ourselves. Okay. And yeah, I, I do like to start with the forehead. Because it does give me... Uh, like the forehead of a person, because it does give me the... Uh, like the, the main guiding line to start. Like to position myself and position the drawing. Let me just say, I'm constantly checking the camera if the camera is working fine. Okay. And yeah, I'm I'm using a. I think it's a it's a Japanese calligraphy brush that I bought in um, in Kyoto, so I'm gonna be using this. And yeah, I, I do like to hide that. Maybe I don't know like the perfect anatomy just by, you know, <laughs> drawing a big, essentially big, uh, big pieces of clothing. Yeah, I'm also using this, um, using Korean ink. I think it's Korean ink. I did buy this in Korea, so, but it has, it's made in Korea though, it has um, Chinese characters, so. But yeah, I'm buying it, uh, I'm using it because it is waterproof. So yeah, uh, let's continue. And yeah, talking at the same time while I draw, it is a bit of a practice as well, because I will be giving my first course soon in, uh, in Lausanne, which is a city in Switzerland, if you haven't heard. If you haven't, if you don't know, and yeah, uh, I kind of, I, I, I need to become more f agile with speaking <laughs> while drawing. Okay, so for starters, I'm not like entirely happy with the nose. Mm. This would be an instance where potentially I would restart the drawing, but because I'm using this, because I'm using a uh, waterproof ink and I can, you know, do some uh, shading. Maybe I can correct it because I'll treat the line as if it were shading. And yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll paint it afterwards with watercolor. I don't know, but yeah, this is the main. I'm gonna be drawing like a scene from the bus that I take whenever I want to go to the city center. And yeah, you see all, see a lot of people there. Um, it, it is a rather fast bus from where I live to the city center, so that's 
good as well. I think we chose this new house that we recently moved to nicely because it is a quick track to the city center. And yeah, you will start to see that I do hide whenever I don't know, I don't know the anatomy 100%, like correct. So I'll, pro I'll usually just draw the person, you know, with the, uh, with big clothing, <laughs> big clothing pieces. And uh, I mean, that, that's a strategy that you can employ as well. So I drew the person looking at the viewer. Let me just raise the camera just a tiny bit. Yeah, I really need a studio. <laughs> or like a team of people. Just controlling, you know, all of these variables. This is a bit of a one-man show. Um, in regards to, you know, the entire setup of cameras. I do have multiple cameras running right now. Uh, and yeah, it it does add to the to the amount of clutter that is right next to me. I I have two big cameras on the left, uh, and this, uh, as you can imagine, it, it it you know the more elements that are around you, as you draw, um, once it's once it stops being you know once it stops being just you and your um, you and your pencil. In this case, you and your brush, it does become harder to to draw a bit. And um, uh, yeah, for this for this drawing, I'm I'm actually using a, a warmer, a warm gray ink. But I don't know. Maybe this one would look better with. Um, I think I prefer colder gray. I was using this one to give it a shot, but I, th I think I'll switch it up to a cold gray ink stone. No, I'll just continue. I mean, of course the uh, the biggest, you know, thing is that you can just then, once you have like your... You can practically do a sketch with the ink, and then once you have a more defined idea of what it is that you're going to draw, you can just use the uh, the more permanent line, the blacker line. Which is, it is what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm drawing with an inclined angle which makes it easier to record, but it, it's not as, it is comfortable on the wrist, but it's not like the most comfortable thing, you know, to draw, especially because I would like if there was like some type of support for my hand on the right side. Yeah, essentially this video is just a series of me rambling while drawing. 
It is Sunday though, so enjoy the ramble. <laughs> Yeah, so so as you can see, I started from the uh, the forehead, right, and then I'm just starting to have the the air. And hair essentially is, and, and I should have some piece of paper right here, but hair essentially is the. Um, okay, uh, I'll go get some photocopy paper. Hair is essentially, so you have this, right? You have a ball. You, you have the ball. And let's say this is the person, right? For hair, you really have to think of it as whoop, 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 whoop like the uh, it's a sphere that's being filled with lines that so because let's say we have the root of our hair here right and then hair the hair flows alongside those lines essentially so with the short tutorial out of the way, let's continue back to our drawing because I don't know what it is that I'm doing. So yeah, let's continue. I do like drawing hair because it's the most... It can be the most random shape that you have in your... in your drawing. But yeah. I think once you have like your first person, the first person that she, at least for me, you know, because my drawings are heavy on people. They, they feature people heavily. And as soon as you have like your first person that you, that looks uh, like anat anatomically correct in your drawing and can serve like as the centerpiece, even though the person is of course more to the right. You, you then can start playing a bit more loose with the shape. So yeah, I'm gonna draw a backpack here. And my hand is starting to become looser. I did drop the microphone of the camera. Uh, so I, I have more mobility because I was holding the microphone camera on my left hand. This allows me to have a bit more mobility yeah. I might color this with watercolor or maybe not I would like to I, so I'm not bad at watercolor but I don't use it enough to the point where I think oh I can do something good with it you know, or something cool. But I've, I've been really meaning to, you know, take my artwork to the next level. And I think that would be, of course, painting the artwork. One, two, three. It's missing a finger. Yeah, I, I almost forgot one finger, so... But yeah. So my plan for the future really is to improve a bit, a bit my watercolor drawing, painting actually, so that I can start um, I think painting a bit more my, my drawings so that they have that pop. 
and yeah i i i kind of scratched the you know have a book <laughs> from the uh from the list i do have a, a book available for purchase if anyone is interested of course um Yeah, and it has been selling, I mean, it has been selling nicely. It wasn't like, I wasn't expecting it to, you know, sell out in the first week. It would have been great. At the same time, it would have been a lot of work because they are shipped directly from, uh, <laughs> you know, from my house. You know, I prepare them individually to be shipped so yeah if they were to sold out in the first uh, in the first day it would have been a lot of a lot of work for me to just prepare the packaging so let me just organize the, the microphone here a bit better okay perfect but yeah um the book i think i sold so far like 10 units Sorry, to 12 units. And I did prepare um, 120 units for sale. And it's not like I've been doing like a like the best job at advertising it. Of course, it, it is readily available. You know, the, the mention is readily available on my Instagram. But yeah, again, this is a bit of a this is a one-man show the book was also a one-man thing I did have some help designing the book which is great but you know the entire process of you know finding the manufacturer and everything was great it was essentially done by me so yeah um, I'm happy that I didn't just print <laughs> like 200 like I was initially thinking because uh, it, it really is you know a case where you can have a lot of followers but it's one thing for it's one thing for um, for people to like like your drawing that's cool on Instagram and all that I th it's another thing altogether for people to reach out to their <laughs> credit card to buy <laughs> something that you might be selling. Uh, so yeah, Thank thankfully I only ordered like 100, so... And I, I will be selling those, you know, slowly over time. Um, if I attend any convention in Switzerland, I'll have a couple of them with me. Just for sale. If I have, like I will having, I'm going to be have my own class, my, my own course in a school in uh, Lausanne. It's like a workshop. I'll maybe I'll have some, a couple of my books there to sell, like at the end of the lesson, in case people want to support and I, I think the book itself is it's also very good too if you want to to learn a bit at least for myself i always learned a lot from checking art books of the artists that i like so yeah um yeah all this to say that book is available book is available Uh, for sale at my website, marciobarra.com. <laughs> so yeah, we, we're just blazing through this. So, 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 so. So I, I kind of gave her a bit of a white high waist so I'm gonna have to play with that uh, I made this line here a bit too high but it's okay we continue 
I would like a lighter gray for my brush. And uh, this really works, uh, at least for me, uh, I take a while to start warming up. And you can see that hopefully this translates better in, in real time than in the time lapse. You can see my strokes, strokes brush strokes becoming a bit more uh, quicker, a bit more fluid. That's because I'm I'm warming up, you know, it's... I, I might darken the, the eye as well a bit. Um, but yeah, my brush game improves as I draw during the drawing. So at the beginning it might be a bit more timid, but as I warm up I start to get a better, a feel, a better feel of where it is that I want to place the lines. Um, and also I think with this style of ink you can make some more mistakes. Uh, for example, this line is here too thick. But I, I might be able to hide it by because there's the, um, the backpack here. And I might do this. That means that the backpack is here, goes into here. And then, okay, no, awesome. It's not like the most uh, natural shape, but we are drawing without a sketch, so yeah. You cannot expect it to be perfect. Yeah, big, big jackets. B big jackets are the key for you to, and for me to hide, you know, that maybe I am not like the best at anatomy. It's all about, you know, hiding your flaws the best you can, make it believable that you know what it is that you're going to draw. Even clothing folds, I'm not sure if I'm very good at it. I think I'm just passable. But people really seem to like these more expensive drawings. And I really like them doing doing them as well. They're they're fun. They're fun. Uh but yeah, I definitely prefer the um the cold grey ink. Not so much the warm grey. Carrying a phone because everyone carries a phone nowadays. Yeah, and regarding setup. So today I'm doing a bit different. I'm recording using my iPhone, one of my iPhones. Um, in this case, it's an iPhone 12 that I'm using. I do have an iPhone 13 as well that I also use to record. But yeah, for this one, I'm using the iPhone... Oh, sorry, sorry, reversed. I'm using the iPhone 13 to record. For this one, it's still recording, so that's great. Yeah, I do have to check as well if it's recording. There was one time that I forgot, I started drawing and <laughs> I forgot to check if it was recording. Yeah, and, uh, but yeah. And also I'm recording horizontally, which is rare, so I hope that you like the video. I'm recording um, horizontally. This is going to be for uh, YouTube. And growing on YouTube has been different because, yeah. My main 
fan base, I think, you know, the people that go to check my work is on Instagram. And this is all because I, I did grow up a bit last year, a bit out of nowhere, I think. I've always had the content for drawing, but uh, last week, last year, my my account just exploded a bit. And uh, yeah, uh, but I'm also been trying to put content, my drawing content on uh, on YouTube. The issue, or rather, the thing is that. On YouTube, you do need to edit your... There's the expectation that you kind of need to be more savvy with your editing, while with Instagram you kind of just, you know, you post a time-lapse and it's, and it's done, essentially. Uh, I, I think with YouTube, YouTube, there is more the expectation that your content is, you know, a bit more presentable. Thing is... Thing is, and you know, what I always say is that uh, I'm not doing this full time, this is an hobby. And it, it is hard for me to, to find time that I could be using for drawing, for example, to now be editing YouTube videos, at least to a high standard. And plus I would have to like take some, some YouTube courses on how to edit videos and all that. But, with that said, I am seeing some, starting to see some good numbers on YouTube. Which is encouraging, because one thing that YouTube has, compared to Instagram, is that eventually you can get paid for your, um, for the views that you have through the head sh ad sharing model. Which is something that... Instagram doesn't have. Instagram, the whole shtick is that you get money through, you know, collaboration with brands and all that. Uh, which, <laughs> at least for me, uh, it's not, I'm not like collaborating with many brands. Uh, and, you know, whenever the collaboration happens, it's something that is super quick. It's not something that also is enough to make a living far from it. And it's it's also so few and far between. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's rare, at least for me. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe all other artists do it. Uh, so yeah. Um, and, you know, even on when I made the book, you know, as a way to get some 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 income from you know drawing, you know I only sold twelve, so <laughs> it was good, but definitely not enough to to make a living. So with that, I thought, what if I start putting, focusing a bit more on putting my videos on YouTube, so that they, at least maybe we can get to the threshold where YouTube splits up, you know, the the revenue of the ads. I'm not sure how good it is. <laughs> I still haven't. I still don't qualify to receive it. But yeah, may, but yeah, maybe if I post some more videos on YouTube and all that, eventually I will get there. We are currently at a thousand and two hundred subscribers, which is one of the thresholds. But yeah, Instagram should really, Instagram should really play, pay for real views, especially when more and more I'm getting ads uh, in my explore feed. Um, and it is a bit unfair that many of the monetization options for Instagram are only available in the US and other countries, not in Europe. You know, it's kind of like saying that the creators in Europe are not, they don't deserve, you know, revenue split even though we do bring also viewership to Instagram.
Yeah, maybe I need to start selling merch. But but same merch, you know, it's it's not like I I don't I don't draw a lot of fan art, so it doesn't really qualify for. I I don't know. I don't know. I need. So here I start laying the lines for the um, for the aggress more aggressive fisheye perspective. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to say like aggressive because I'm not going to be doing an aggressive fisheye perspective. I'm going to be doing a soft, gentle fisheye perspective. Because I'm, I'm not sure how good I am at do, do I, blah, 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 drawing aggressive fisheye perspectives. Yeah, I'm drawing this and I'm thinking, yeah, I should also practice for my course <laughs> that I'm giving next week. It is a chunk of time. I should, I need, I still need to think about what it is that, you know, it is six hours. I need to think about, you know, exercises and drills for people to do. Uh, I'm going to do, the, I'm going to recommend that people do one of the drills that I do, which is essentially just drawing things, things in reverse. Good old. But yeah, uh, hopefully it's fun. Yeah, I need to start laying some thicker plaques. So you're probably going to be seeing this video after I did my course at Artiloft in Lausanne, which is the school. But, you know, as it is, we're one week away. The way I'm thinking is I'm, I'm going to be starting with the basics. <laughs> what everyone says, I'm going to start with the basics. And I'm going to assess how everyone is and if they are comfortable with drawing you know the simple stuff like can you draw a square can you draw a rectangle can you draw a sphere uh, because everything starts from there Everything starts from those basic shapes. And, and then we'll start, you know, we're going to practice drawing boxes for a bit. Not too much. I don't want to, you know, turn the course into the uh, draw box seminary. Because I, I still don't know how useful that is for a beginner to be, you know, just drawing boxes. Unless you have like, some terrible control of your hand and you really need that first stage to, you know, just be comfortable drawing something. So, so yeah, so we're going to be drawing a couple of boxes. If, if, if everyone gets there and says, I already am a pro. Hey, sorry everyone, um, so I actually restarted the camera because I noticed that the, um, the video itself was becoming blurry. 
it was a bit blurry so yeah uh, I really need to become a bit better at learning how to operate this camera <laughs> So for the video itself, I'm recording with the um, the Fujifilm X-T5. And there's also one thing that is a bit annoying about this camera, is that the camera itself is not like the best at recording video. It will overeat eventually. Even though I'm not recording at 4K, um, yeah, this is not necessarily a a camera to record video. This is more for photos. Which is uh, unfortunate. But I think now the video quality should have improved. It should be less blurry now. So yeah, now I'm thinking if I should have been using, should have been using for this drawing like a rougher paper. Because uh, I'm not, because this paper has the issue that it does, has a bit of um, streaking in that you can see, uh, you know, the ink leaves some marks, some uneven marks. And these uneven marks are a bit, at least for me, they are a bit distracting. At the same time, they might add to the character of the drawing. H adds, a, adds, adds a roughness to it, I think. Okay, continuing new on. Um, the jacket itself, because we have a fold here that I drew, we do need to add shadows to it. Something like this. Yeah, perfect. And we start to consider a bit more the um, the more aggressive, you know. Essentially, we do need to start laying a bit more the um, the lines that will make the 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 wrapped perspective, because this is this is going to be like the inside of the bus, right? And now I'm going to start adding the thicker lines. This is important because I do want the lines to be well defined, at least for, for the most part. Um, at least for the most part. I want them to be well defined. Because, of course, if I do decide to add some... Uh, some watercolor to this... I will need the lines to be uh, darker. Uh, one button, two buttons, three buttons. Yeah, the... Um, Hopefully the darker lines also transmit, you know, depth to the thing. Hopefully. And here I'm just, I, I do have a, a reference photo of the inside of a, a bus plane 
with no people just so I know you know a bit the elements but though I'm, I'm drawing like for example this part with the dots it's completely at random you know uh, I haven't shamefully I know but I haven't memorized the inside of a, of a bus here in Switzerland and it's not something that I'm good at coming from memory you know like a bus People are, it's cool, but like mechanical elements, I still, I need, I need a reference. I mean, not every mechanical element, but for example, like bikes, I can draw some of them by memory and, you know, make up. Because it, but the inside of, you know, a bus, something that would make you think, oh, this is a bus. I'm unfortunately not able to draw from memory. Yeah, um, can I make this a bit darker here without making it too dark? Jesus, maybe not. Yeah, this one is good. Perfect. Some shadows here. And some shadows here as well for to indicate that the person is here. Very cool, very nice. It's useful, like a good idea to draw like squares uh, indicating that the perspective, usually it's, it's a good idea to have those. So yeah, um, almost done with this character. I need a bit more darker lines here. Otherwise it might look a bit flat. Hey, it's coming along nicely, I think. Uh, yeah, sorry if I'm not speaking a lot. Uh, it, it is, you know, a bit hard sometimes to, you know, think what it is that I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, if, if you're liking the video so far, do consider um, subscribing or at least, you know, checking my my YouTube, my other videos. Yeah, check also my Instagram. My, my content there is also a bit more immediate, perhaps. You know, it's just, you're gonna be able to see, you know, my videos in short format. If you'd like to support, uh, I do have books, my book, my first book available for sale on my website. It should be easy to track down. It, it is just my name.com, marciobarra.com. Um, 
Of course, no pressure. I don't necessarily like to tell people what to do, so... But yeah, if you like this stuff, check out, check out my content. Check out my part-time content. Because again, uh, I did receive, I do receive this question quite often. This is a part-time uh, occupation. I do have a main, uh, I do have a day-to-day -day job, on, on the week. So, I'm not drawing always. Far from it. <laughs> It just so happens today's Sunday that I do have a bit for, of free time to draw. But our shores are done. And I can focus on, you know, some of this. Which is good, you know, makes me feel good. Uh, I do need to draw to feel good lately. I want to add some shadows here, but I don't want to make it too dark. Yeah, something like this. Perfect. I'm using a similar effect to what I used for my book cover, which is the uh, the line, the curved lines. Um, and I think it's a really neat effect that you can give your drawings. Oh shit, I almost forgot to draw the shoe. Uh, you can see that I'm stalling for time because I'm thinking, what shoe do I draw? It's not that the, the pants are draping over the shoe, so it's not like going to be the most visible shoe in the world. But I don't know what what to draw. Maybe something short, dark. Like a derby shoe or something. Like this. Yeah, well not like a, a black derby shoe. With the, um, yeah, with the soul, yeah, something like this. Yeah, this one I just fluked it a bit. Let me grab the black. And a fly just entered the studio and my cat is going crazy. Bye cat.
So far so good. I think we are we are cooking with this rank. One thing that I don't like about drawing with easels is as soon as I start to draw here, I'm not sure if the finger here in this part, it starts to become a bit uncomfortable for the hand. I, w I wish I had like the chance to increase the table size or decrease depending on the when I need to draw lower. Yeah, I, I need black ink. No, I said I need black ink. Not so much. Go back. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome, let's continue. Yeah, these are those black. Um, air vents. So it's important to also draw the these lines here, even if they are not in my reference photo of a bus. Just so I it shows the perspective wrap a bit because the the photo that I have of the bus is not wrapped. But yeah, it's starting to become a bit uncomfortable to draw here in this angle. To my hand, it's starting to hurt a bit. Which is not, which is unfortunate. But yeah, if you are successfully able to draw these lines, they really add to your sense of, you know, perspective. Perfect. How are we doing? Doing well. The camera is still not overeating. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue. Uh, I, I, I need to finish this line. Awesome. It's starting to look very cool, the drawing. Don't you agree? Perfect. Then this. Do, 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 do. And I need to have three dimensionality to it. But again, drawing at this angle is very uncomfortable. So I, 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 I'm yearning to get back here and, you know, just draw this part. As for paper that I'm using, uh, I'm using Fabriano paper. the um, satin, the smooth finish pa paper. I also have rough paper that I need to try out. But yeah, this is the smooth version. Um, I, I think it works wonders for this style of drawing that I'm doing. Uh, I don't think it's the best paper for watercolor though. I'm just doing a bit of 
actual with the side brush the side brush technique don't tell anyone I shared this with you this should be top secret but essentially I was using the side of the brush yeah I'm, I'm trying to find a replacement for this brush because yeah it's it's the only one of this style that I have I mean I have more but this is the best <laughs> this one is clearly takes the cake as the best brush and yeah, I, I reached out to a couple companies. Actually, I only reached out to one company. <laughs> but yeah, I did reach out to a company um, that makes brushes uh, saying, hey, um, I would like a brush with these specifications. Um, you know, the one like the one that I'm using right here, but perhaps a bit, uh, yeah, with more of my how I would like to have this brush that you see here and the company was um, they were open let's say and not right now but they were open to start like a let's say relationship where uh, let's see where it goes right uh, and they will send me a couple of brushes that match the specification so I can um, Yeah, see how they work uh, Keep in mind that uh, the brush that I'm getting So uh, let's continue So yeah, the camera went down again with the heat. So apologies, uh, I don't, <laughs> and I don't recall what it is that I was saying. Uh, but yeah, S send me a message if I was saying something useful to you. Uh, yeah, essentially, now I'm just adding some perhaps unneeded shadows. But uh, yeah, I think this might add to the um, to the overall mood of the drawing. Again, these lines are really important, I think, to uh, to add the um, the three dimensionality to the drawing. I, I think the art could have been better looking, but yeah, it is what it is. It's cool. In a bit, uh, the camera will probably start rec stop recording because of battery concerns. So uh, I'll probably have to pick up a charger. Let's continue.
now I'm going to start expanding a bit outside of this area here. I'm going to go a bit to here and yeah, let's continue. continue So I'm, I'm going to be drawing one of those devices that you can, uh, you know, you need to put your ticket on. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, sorry I'm not saying anything right now, I'm just also getting a bit lost in the process. Yeah, the machine will be saying something, I don't know what, but it will be saying something. We're, we're doing progress, we're making it cool. No, perhaps the hardest part really, which is the adding more people to the scene, which I should probably start considering doing. But first I need water. Ink this scene to ink this part. Awesome. So essentially, we need to start having people, and they're going to be here. You can see that I'm drawing it a bit more faint. That has a reason. It's because the person is a bit more... The person is a bit more on the outside, on the outskirts. Uh, 
sorry, on the outskirts. Jeez, <laughs> sometimes I don't know what it is that I'm saying. But the person is going to be more on the... Um, it's going to be farther away, right? From the, uh, from the camera, makes sense. And because of that, it makes sense that it would be a bit, you know, a more fainter. Because it's not like it is the center of the drawing. Now, backpack, because it's people, people use a lot of backpacks here in Switzerland. I mean, everywhere, right? And yeah, let's continue. Backpacks are actually quite easy to draw. You just make a, a bunch of random lines. So they're the easiest part to draw, definitely. So we're gonna have an arm here. Yeah, we have an arm. Shirt. Uh, so the person's gonna have the end on the pocket. This will make it so I don't really need to draw the full hand. Cost saving measure. Synergy. Folding, so well, I made this line, this thing here, which is the support thing. It's like a thing that has on the, on the bus. It's really to guide where I'm gonna put, you know, the next things. Jeans. Of course, then I will do it. I will have some thicker lines, blacker lines. Now, I might need to draw the face sideways in another piece of paper because this is a, a rather difficult angle for me. So I'm just stalling, making time until I gain the courage to draw the face here. Which is again, like I said, at a bit of a difficult angle for me personally. I'm not like the best at drawing faces from more complicated, you know, angles. Pocket. Oh, 
already laying the groundwork for the next steps here. Some ambient occlusion. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna start laying some darker lines. Perhaps not so dark. There's no need to be so dark. And I need the point to stay pointy. Okay, starting to look a bit more defined, as you can see. Awesome, it's looking very nice. Ah, shoes. My Achilles heel as well. <laughs> I don't know how to draw shoes. Yeah, I don't know what it is that I did here. I'm probably gonna have to then with the darker line just define the shape exactly. More precisely. And I really should practice more drawing shoes. But alas, there's no time to practice everything. That's just how it is. Let's continue. Oops, too dark. As I'm drawing, I'm noticing that for some reason today I'm holding the brush super close to my fingers, which is not like the best. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Again, sorry if I'm not speaking so much right now. Um, also focusing a bit on what it is that I'm doing. It is a, a more difficult angle for me. So um, that's why I'm keeping focused. And yeah, at the same time, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so maybe for the next part of the video, I'll just put some background music or something. But oh no, oh no, maybe I'll just... In, in case I want to say something. So this part of the backpack should be part black, right? Dark, because it is the part where you wouldn't be able to see a lot of the backpack. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, at least for today, I'm gonna left it as is for the um, for the YouTube video. Probably I'll split it, this up in multiple videos uh, because I don't know when I will have time this week to return to this one. And you can already have an idea of, you know, and see the video, at least see a bit the video and, you know, I'll split it up as I, I start doing the second phase, second part of the drawing, I'll also post it up on YouTube. Yeah, and then, you know, when it's done, I'll just push the finished drawing everywhere in all the social medias. So yeah, thank you so much for everyone that joined, that is seeing this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, of course, be on the lookout for part two of this drawing. I, I hope this also works well, you know, that you enjoy this style of video. It is different, definitely, you know, having me speaking a bit hope you like it as well uh and yeah in the meantime i'll think about how to draw the face here you know <laughs> damn this part is scary thank you so much everyone and don't forget to like you know all that good stuff subscribe if you like if you don't like it's okay as well uh yeah and thank you for thank you for watching bye